In this short video, we will show you how to use construction tools as a modeling assistance in the RAM modeler. Now, in the main series of videos for this course, we showed you how to create your standard grids, which serve as the primary reference points for both the engineer and the program to define your structural model. But in addition to that, we also allow you to create construction grids, which are basically freeform grids that are used solely for modeling purposes. Now to create a construction grid line, you're going to go up to your toolbars in the RAM modeler and select the construction grid icon. Now here you can use any of your model geometry, including grid lines and beams or walls, to create a reference point for your construction grids. Let's go ahead and create a grid system parallel to an existing grid, say five feet apart. So let's go ahead and click the add button. We'll click on an existing grid line and then select the side which we want to add the grid. Let's go ahead and go to the right of grid line D. Now we have that construction grid available and we're able to use that as a reference point or an existing snap point for modeling a member. So say for example I want to create a member, a beam member, along this grid line at that location. I can go to my layout beam icon and then I can still use my add on grid command and what we're going to notice is now I have some additional snap points. Now I can keep this grid line on if I want, or if I am finished using it, I can go ahead and tell it to turn off that grid system. Now, in addition to that, I should also be able to have that construction grid available on other layouts on my structure. So let's go ahead and move our way up to the roof. And what we're going to notice is that construction grid line can appear here. This is a great way to ensure that the modeling of your geometry is lining itself all the way up your structure in the exact location that you're looking for. And again, if we want to turn off that grid line, if we're done modeling with it, we can go ahead and turn it off and then turn it on at any later time. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.